Um, as you can see, it is really cold out here, but we definitely got hot enough to cook eggs, which means we're not far from being able to boil water and everything else. Those are really good. So we've got our dog kennel front. You could use a cat kennel. You could use a grate out of a refrigerator. You could use just about anything. But this we grab because we can cut it down to fit exactly on the top. Also, we've got two lawn tractor rims. We're going to have to get these tires off of here. That's usually a pretty simple process. I'll show you what my trick is to doing it, and we'll go from there. All right, the easiest thing in order to start off with is just grab a nice utility knife. You're going to see where the weather crack strip is on most tires. Just go right for that weather crack strip and just cut right into it. Make sure, of course, that you're pulling the knife straight towards you. That way, when you slip, you stab right straight into your leg and potentially end up sending yourself to the hospital. And all joking aside, pay attention to what you're doing. So we cut through one side, we flip it over, and we cut the other side. Alright, so at this point, if you have a power wheel kicking around and you want to upgrade your tread, oh that was disgusting. If you have a power wheel around and you want to upgrade your tread, this is your perfect way to do it. That right there is a power wheel tire. Now, when you go to push this, you're going to have to push this down and get it to pop off. This might take a few different tactics. Uh, a screwdriver should get you started if you don't have a pry bar. But basically, in the tire, there's going to be a little bit of a, uh, a little metal ring that's on the inside. And you're going to have to break that ring free so that you can cut it with a grinder. And again, make sure you aim the really sharp device at yourself. That way when you slip, you go to the hospital. Every project is more fun if it has hospital visits. There it goes. So once you get it to this point, you take a grinder and slice the rest of it. There. Okay, so we've got everything ground up around here and it's all cleaned up. It worked out that this newer rim apparently fits inside the edge of the older rim. Otherwise, we'd be butt welding this instead of having this one down in. And we're just going to tack weld it around and hold it in place. This one is really just here in order to safety this idea. It's to separate the heat from whatever surface you're cooking on. And we're going to have to put something inside to go and keep it separated. So we'll just tack it up a couple and then go from there. So in keeping with the junkyard build theme, I found this solenoid that comes out of a carburetor that nobody actually needs anyway. And we're just gonna drive that right in that hole. Good enough. All right, time to cut out a grill, and we should be able to go and get this thing started. All right, so I've marked out a circle here that we're going to cut out using a grinder. 
And I deliberately left this thicker piece right here, and then that way I can weld like a hoop or something into this spot. That way you can pick it up after for cleaning. Alright, so it is not ideal situation out here at all. It's 36 degrees right now, so it's way colder than you'd ever want to be grilling outside. The wind is blowing and being anything but pleasant, but we're going to see if we can manage to cook an egg on what we've created. I'm going to let the pan heat up a sec, and then we'll see what happens. Now an egg is usually a pretty decent test out of the fact that an egg changes color as it cooks so it's easy to see the indication as to how hot it got and how quickly it changes color is a good indication as to whether it's working correctly. Whoop, that wind was pleasant. Alright, so let's pop an egg in. I am not a good cook. I am just a survival cook as I tell everybody. We're going to mix our yolk in because that's how I like it. Okay, so John's not a fan of eggs, but this is a pretty decent test. They came out good. Um, as you can see, it is really cold out here, but we definitely got hot enough to cook eggs, which means we're not far from being able to boil water and everything else. Those are really good. So, build your own, cook up something, post up some pictures. And we'll pass it on. Let's start a new hashtag. Um, tractor Rim Grilling. Let's do that. Tractor Rim Grilling. Hashtag Tractor Rim Grilling. Instagram, post your own cooking photo. Let's pass it around. And on Facebook and wherever else. Tractor Grill Cooking. Tractor, tractor Rim Grilling. There. Tractor Rim Grilling. All right, guys. Have fun. We appreciate the support. Have a good day.